Crystalline silica is a basic component of soil, sand, granite, and many other materials. Quartz is the most common form of crystalline silica. Workers may be exposed to respirable sized particles of crystalline silica when they chip, cut, drill, or grind objects that contain the material. Silica exposure remains a serious threat to several million U.S. workers, including more than 100,000 workers in high-risk jobs such as abrasive blasting, foundry work, stone cutting, rock drilling, quarry work, and tunneling. Exposure also occurs during many different construction activities and some manufacturing processes. The seriousness of the health hazards associated with silica exposure is demonstrated by the fatalities and disabling illnesses that continue to occur in sandblasters, rock drillers, and other professions. Crystalline silica has been classified as a human lung carcinogen. Silicosis is a disease of the lungs due to the breathing of dust containing crystalline silica particles. This dust can cause fibrosis or scar tissue formations in the lung that reduce the lung's ability to work to extract oxygen from the air. There are several stages of silicosis. Early stages may go completely unnoticed. Continued exposure may result in the exposed person noticing a shortness of breath upon exercising, possible fever, and occasionally bluish skin at the earlobes or lips. Progression of the disease leads to fatigue, extreme shortness of breath, loss of appetite, pain in the chest, and respiratory failure, which all may eventually lead to death. Acute silicosis may develop after short periods of exposure. Chronic silicosis usually occurs after 10 or more years. There is no cure for this disease. Prevention is the only answer. Since silicosis affects lung function, it makes one more susceptible to lung infections like tuberculosis. To learn more about crystalline silica and silicosis or other health and safety, environmental, and indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.